Hi guys. Yep, I'm back. Same bat time, same bat channel. Same bat day. Now, I finished unwrapping my, all of my little goodies from AOA Studio. And I'm going to do a little bit of a swatch party. Just so you can see all the lovely stuff. And I can give you at least a little bit of an impression of what I think of it straight out of the package. Most of these I have not used before. So, things like the skinny mascara, I have used before, okay? But I wanted to make a point with the skinny mascara about how small this is and how comfortably, unless you stick yourself in the eye, you can get under here to these tiny little lashes. Much easier than with a big bulky wand. Love this stuff. It's wonderful. Okay, now got my pressed powder. It's unwrapped, I swear. There you go. Now, one little swipe, and I've got a finger load. It's soft, it's buttery feeling, it's beautiful. It really is gorgeous stuff. I'm very happy so far. The setting powder. This is a slightly different version of the setting powder than what I've already got. The setting powder I've already got is more like the um, press powder. This one is got a slight tint to it instead of just being completely. But again, it just it feels beautiful. It's lovely stuff. It's got one of the plastic caps inside here with the little shaker holes so that you don't have tons of loose powder just floofing whenever you open the lid. It's great. Now, this one, this is the first time I've ever gotten one of their um, velour highlights. I said, this one is Lucky. And I'm not sure what I was expecting when I first opened it. But I was kind of expecting it to be kind of a, more of a cream, more of a powder. And it's actually much more of a cream. And let's see if I can get a spot here. It does a really pretty job. Of just laying down a nice glow. I don't have to necessarily get all uppity with that glow, you know. I can let it be just what it is. Nice and polite and a little glow. Now, I've got, this is the contour stick that I picked up. Now, some people may think this is a little too pale, but I really am kind of pale, so I'm not too overly worried about it. And it, you barely touch, and you get, I'm not sure how well you'll see it since it's pale, 
but see how pale I am and how pale it is. Anyway, but it's it's got that slightly dull grayish thing that you want the contour to have so that it creates the illusion of a shadow. The other stick that I got, this one's actually LA Colors, and this is a bronzer. I don't know that those are going to come out that well just because of how pale they are and my lighting. So we shall see. I'll give you more information on it when I actually put them on my face. And that's not going to be in this round of videos. Yeah, it'll be different clothes, different makeup, all that. Probably a couple of days from now. Now, the pale lipstick-looking thing. This one is actually a lip, more of a lip balm than anything else. And the color is called Pixie Tide. It's got the absolutely palest green color I have ever seen anywhere and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's the shiny spot right here. <laughs> because there's the the bomb on the outside and then this little bitty core of color. That's another one that it's like, we'll have to see what happens when I actually wear it. Since, you know, arms, they're just, they're arms. Now, these pieces should actually show up a little better. This is the Matte Liquid Lip from AOA Studio called Cashmere. It's the kind of gray tone. Let's see. I like that. That's pretty. I'm going to leave that on and then put the dark blue on and then get that blue diamond And this is the liquid Wonder Matte Liquid Lip in Lit. L-I-T-T. -T. Oh, I like that too. It feels very comfortable on the skin. That's a start anyway. Let's see. Well, it doesn't dry down immediately, but it is working on drying down. I won't know for a bit whether or not dried down. It will be transfer proof. But right now, the cashmere is definitely not. We'll have to wait for it to dry just a little bit. So I'm going to pull up the Wonder Cover. This is the white one that can be used either as a highlighter or as an eye primer. And let's put this down here. Oh, that's got a nice feel to it. goes on smooth. Oh yeah, that's actually a very nice white. And it's not streaky. So, I'm liking this. I am not hating anything yet. Some of it's a little different than what I initially expected, but I'm not hating anything yet. 
Okay. These are the two matte lips look like they're starting to dry down. They're holding their color. Now, I've got a light place in the cashmere here from where I poked my finger in it to see if it was dried down yet. And it's a little bit lighter than, than the rest of the swatch now because it wasn't. <laughs> But now I've got that diamond lip gloss in Mermaid, which is kind of a green blue or blue green, depending on what you want to think of it. And let's just see what happens. Ooh. I think I made a good choice. There you go. Oh yeah. That's going to be pretty. And, yeah, once the matte lip actually dries down, it doesn't transfer really. So, that's pretty. Those are going to be fun to play with. Well, that's pretty much it. Now... I'm going to read you some stuff because it came off of the um, off of the invoice. Well, the packing slip. There's 34 items in this haul. And even though they don't put the names of the brushes on the brushes, they're on here and they're on the website. Okay. We have the E112 Tapered Large Pencil Brush. Which was this one. This is the Large Tapered Pencil Brush. And then we have, all right, where are you? The 122, E122, which is the flat, small flat shader brush. Some of these are a little obvious, but hey, what can I say? E123. Eyeliner Blending Brush. E124 Precise Pencil Brush. F16 Precise Concealer Brush. I told you it was a concealer brush. Ha ha. Then we have the F30 A Plus Charity Precise Highlight Brush. Like I said, it's a small kabuki. Right here. E140. A plus charity 
E140 angled blending brush. E142 A plus charity precise pencil brush. Now this is a bigger pencil brush point than the one that's on the AOA Studio standard brush. So I love pointy brushes. Get into little places. Okay, E143. A plus charity flat eye brush. Well, that's kind of a no dir, but hey. And then the E one forty one A plus charity crease blending brush. Like I said, it's a big fluffy. So, yeah, there you have your brushes and the pretty lipsticks and some of the other stuff. And I wish this sweater would stay put. And there's the earrings. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm done with it for today. Really, I think I am. Y'all be good.